I'm just going to show you now as well how to um, activate your 7 day TV guide if you want to activate it. What you're going to need for that is um, you're going to need your own USB stick um, or hard drive. We recommend using a hard drive it's, um, if you want to also record it. So a USB stick will do absolutely fine. Um, but I wouldn't recommend a USB stick uh, for a um, recording. So to insert the USB stick, um, obviously we can't use the one at the back because we've already got our Wi-Fi dongle in here. If you're using a wired connection, then you can use the one at the back. But if you've already used the one at the back here, then uh, there's another one here at the front. So just underneath this uh, rubber tab here, if you just want to slide that down, there's another USB port in there. So you can just insert uh, your USB stick or your hard drive in there and that'll help you to, um, act to activate the 7 day TV guide. So what we're going to do then now is we're going to press menu on the remote control and we're going to go over to the right here into the third one in and you're going to go down to where it says EPG and time setting. So you press OK on that and up the very top here now where it says satellite we're just going to um, switch it to the right and it's going to change it to internet. So then what we want to do is go down to the bottom here where it says XML TV setting press OK on that. So uh, what we want to do is we want to select uh, the very first one there where it says United Kingdom. So we're just going to um, press the right arrow on that again. Uh, that's just to activate the auto update. So it actually updates itself. When you put your box on standby, the EPG will update itself. So I'd recommend um, when you're not using your open box, just to put it on standby. Um, so when you have that turned on, you're going to have to press the red button then on your remote control down the bottom. So it's going to um, update it. Now this might take a, a minute or two. So once you press the red button, it's just going to go through all the different things that it needs to do and to um, to update your EPG. So when that's done, we're going to go back out of it again. So now once that's all finished, it's reached 100%, um, your EPG should be working again. So you're just going to um, press exit, go back out onto your channels again. Um, so this is a Sky Premier Wave on here. I'm just going to press OK on this. So when you're, when you're looking for whatever channel you want to watch, you can, let's say, go on to Sky Sports here, for example. You don't actually have to change the channel. You can just browse through all the different channels. So I'm on Sports here now, um, Sky Sports 1. Now we get over to the right again. And here is all um, the programs that's on for Sky Sports 1 uh, for the rest of the evening. Um, if you want to check what's on tomorrow, go to the right again. You can see all the different days of the week is on here. So let's say uh, if you want to see what was on uh, tomorrow evening there now, um, Friday, uh, just press OK on Friday. And then this is all, all the programs that are starting on Friday. So that's it then, that's your EPG sorted and um, that is, should be your open box set up for you.